there's going to be some important links down below in the description box. First and foremost, to Cheap Engine. Go ahead and click on this big green banner. Unless you're on a Mac, you'll click on the one below. Over here is towards Nexus Mod, which tells you to grab the Cheat Engine and the file. So you go ahead and click on File. Go ahead and click on Manual Download. You'll put it wherever you want. I have it in a folder called Cheat Engine. So then we have the installer for Cheat Engine. Go ahead and install that. And then obviously open it up. Right? This is the zip file for the actual cheat table that you load into Cheat Engine. So when you extract it, it makes a folder with a little file with the same icon because it's associated with Cheat Engine. When you load Cheat Engine, you're going to see this. You're not going to have any of this here. You're simply going to go to the yellow folder. You're going to click open and you're going to browse to wherever you put that file. For the cheat table, double click it to open it. I've already done so, which is why I have all these options here. Obviously, it helps when the game is running, which is why you'll want to click here. Select from the list. Mine is always at the bottom here, Monster Hunter Rise. Click on open. Now from here, this is where the magic happens. So we're going to click the Windows key or Alt-Tab out. i got to do this a couple of times. Now, for example, I always allow VEH. I don't know what it means. I just know that I click it. I click on pointers, pointers. Zenny, as you can see here, you can X on it. Come over here to the value. Double click on it. We're going to go and erase all this and do... 888888. Eight, 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 eight. Now look at the top right. Bam. You see that? Now we're going to do the Kimura points. We're going to do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Watch over here at the top right, the blue one. Bam. It updates it in real time. You could change, you know, your base health, how much health you want, how much stamina you want. Then you can go down below, say, click on scripts. Anytime you see an X here, that's because I, I clicked it, right? I clicked it. So click on this, click on this for your weapon editor damage. Now look at the damage at the top right there underneath the money. See how it says 100? Now check this out. We're going to go to the 100 because that's our damage on our current weapon. And I am going to do, let's say, 900. See how it changed to 900 in real time? You could be thinking to yourself, hey man, 1,500 but it hard caps at 1300. So I'm going to leave it at 1300 because why not? Same with the affinity. It multiplies by four. So five times four is 20. At least I think that's how it works. Now, if I do, let's say 90, it's 100%, whatever. Now we can go down below. I'm, I'm not here to show you every single thing because I don't know what I'm doing, but the shit's working. Now we can go to, like, let's say, Armor Editor. This is a big one. And we'll go to, let's say, Defense. But before we do that, I want to go in the game to prove to you that it's actually going to work. So our attack here is 1,300. Uh, let's do... Where is our defense? Oh, defense. Such a noob. It's at 81. All right. 81. But if I double click on this defense here, this will do the helmet. And we do, let's say, oh, I don't know. A thousand. There's the defense, a thousand. You'll essentially never take any damage is basically what's going on there. So it is, it is pretty wild. Now for the base health, base maximum health, uh, let me see if I can remember how I had done this here. There's the health and stamina. You can see why I usually don't make these videos. Let's do a hundred thousand. And then let's change this one to a hundred thousand. No, that didn't work. No, neither did that. So we'll get rid of those. I don't remember how I had done it 
honestly, it was somewhere in here that I had done it and it just worked. I had a bunch of health and everything else. Maybe I just went too far. Well, maybe I need to click on player. There we go. Such a noob. Player, health. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. You see? I knew I wasn't, you know, completely crazy. So we got 100,000 health. And we could do the same thing with the stamina. Right? We can change the stamina to... Oh, God, I don't know. Something really crazy. There we go. So that's how you do that. Hopefully... This video wasn't too convoluted, and it kind of gave you the gist of what it is you need to kind of do to get this going for you. I myself, I've played this on Switch legitimately, and I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm looking to have fun. I'm looking to play the game however I see fit. You may not understand why you'd want to play this way, and that's great then don't use them. Why'd you even bother watching the video? As always, if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. You didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. You see little uh, Pikachu there, whatever, Palamute, whatever the hell he's called. Uh, Paladin, I called him Paladin. Long story, because he kind of looks like my old cat that I had called cat Paladin. Uh, I'll have him bite your nutsack, as simple as that. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, and obviously that would be great now, wouldn't it? But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and hopefully, maybe, I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.